James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com, a GigOm site, here with Mobile Tech Minutes today to show you some relatively new technology from Dell, and that is their Latitude On technology, that is their Instant On equivalent to Splashtop the, and Phoenix and, and some other uh, competing technologies. But Dell takes a different tactic with this problem that they're trying to offer a solution for and I'll show you that in detail. So what we have here is the Dell Latitude E4300. It is a, an enterprise notebook, brushed metal. It's uh, pretty nice, sturdy, 13 inch screen. Typical, this one is running Microsoft Windows Vista because uh, Windows 7 had not, was not shipping yet when they sent it to me. But this is not about the laptop. As I said in the introduction, this is a demonstration of the Dell Latitude On Instant On technology. What the Latitude On is, in a nutshell, is a... Linux environment that the enterprise user can boot into when he needs quick access to corporate email, corporate website. It's solely tied to the enterprise network. It is not a consumer product. And the way Latitude On, what sets it apart from Splash Top and, and, and the Phoenix instant on technologies is Dell has a mini PCI card installed in this laptop and, and any laptop that uh, uses Latitude On th that has its own ARM processor. It's basically a smartphone PC on a card with its own memory and it allows you to operate in the Latitude On Linux environment without really hitting the battery very hard because it's not the Intel processor, the hard drive, all that stuff is powered off when you're there. So typical scenario is you want to, your enterprise worker, you need to jump online and check your corporate email or something pretty quickly. You pop on Let's get the, where you can see the screen here. And I'm going to have to log in. I don't want you to see all of that. And it pops you instantly into the Linux environment. We're going to zoom in here a little bit where you can see it, I hope, a little better. It's, it's a real simple environment. You've got email, you've got calendar and tasks, you've got contacts, and you've got the web browser, which is, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. The, the, it can work with the corporate exchange servers, whatever. You've got calendar here. You've got contacts, and I don't have any in here, so it's pretty bare. And you've got the web browser, which is a Mozilla or Firefox based browser. It works very much like Firefox, but it is important to, to understand that this is very locked down. You cannot, the, the user cannot load any, any browser plugins, you cannot play any Flash. I mean, it's very locked down. And the whole purpose is for enterprise workers to be able to jump on and get work done, run applications through the browser using a Citrix server, for example, where you're actually running programs at the corp on the corporate servers. And that is really what this is for. But the beauty of it is, like I said, is that ARM processor, which lets you do all of this without really hitting the battery hard at all. You could, I could see you able to do this all day, basically, um, it, as long as 
you know, your, your corporate environment is rich enough where you can actually work in this environment all day. You certainly could with the single battery charge because it's very gentle on the battery. It works with integrated 3G, which this laptop has. I'm on Wi-Fi right now, which is up here in the uh, upper corner. You've got a battery um, indicator. It's, it's not the ARM processor. It's not the fastest in the world, but for working in the browser and doing simple email stuff, it's more, I'm finding it more than adequate. You can jump back and forth. Now, the way this works, let's say I'll, I realize now I need to get into the Windows Vista. And the way this, this is accessed, and I'm going to try to hold this up where you can see it. There's actually two power menu, power buttons. This is the main power button, and this is the latitude on button. And all I have to do is push the regular power button and it's shutting down the latitude on Linux side and it's going to pop up Windows Vista which is should be hibernating I believe yes it's resuming it from hibernation so that'll be a typical hibernation resume and then I'll be in full Windows it's firing up the Intel processor the hard drive the main memory which this has I think four gigs Either two or four gigs, I forget. Windows is resuming. And I'm way off to an angle here. I'm going to try to get logged in. So now I'm back in my, my full Windows Vista environment. Ah, uh, yeah, this has an integrated GPS as well. It's telling me to turn it on. It's turned on the mobile broadband device, the integrated 3G, like I said. And so now you're working on this laptop like any other Windows laptop. It's a full system. So we're up and we're running. Now if we want to get back into the latitude on, if we hit the other button as I showed you, it's going to hibernate Vista. So that's going to take a few seconds for the hibernation and then it's going to pop us right back into the latitude on Linux environment and that's the way it works there there you think of it as there's two laptops in here one the Linux side one the uh, the Vista side let me log in again where you can't see my even though it's a dummy login I use for here we're back in the latitude on environment and I can't stress enough, this is not for consumers. This is very locked down environment. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of uh, utility here because it's tightly controlled. It has to be imaged to work with the corporate environment. And once that's done, it in essence is a Linux thin client. It will do anything that you could do in your cubicle at work on the servers without having to go through the the Windows environment. Hit the uh, the main power button again and we're going to jump back over to the Vista site. Resuming Windows. So that's Latitude on technology in a nutshell. It's, I think that it's very innovative to have the ARM processor in here. It greatly extends the, the value of it, I think, as far as letting you not only get in and do stuff really quickly on the go, but also, as I said, very gentle on the battery. So you could conceivably work much longer in this that environment on a single battery charge. So we hope you enjoyed this look at the uh, Latitude On technology from Dell. I can give you a little quick look at the uh, keyboard of the E4300.
This is James Kidrick with JK on the Run. Thanks for tuning in.